Hello students, today we will be doing the 6th chapter of commercial studies which is partnership. In this chapter we will be defining partnership, stating the features of partnership, describing the merits of partnership, explaining the demerits of partnership, describing partnership deed, explaining registration of partnership firms, discussing the types of partnership and finally describing the types of partners. In the previous chapter, we learned about sole proprietorship and Hindu undivided family business. In this chapter, we'll be dealing with partnership firms and understanding them better. The partnership form of business is an extension of sole proprietorship, which means if Roma is unable to meet the financial and managerial requirements of growing business of RV Cakes, she takes a partner Vijay to support her in her business. A partnership, therefore, is a voluntary association of two or more persons who agree to carry on some business jointly and share its profits and losses. Roma Cakes becomes partnership firms, RV Cakes, when Roma and Vijay, out of their own free will, choose to become partners in the firm. They also decide to share their profits and losses of RV Cakes. Roma and Vijay are individually called as partners and collectively they are known as a firm. The name under which they carry out business is called firm name. So your RV cake is the firm name. Definition of partnership. Partnership is the relation between two persons who have agreed to share profits of a business carried on by all or any one of them acting for all. This means partnership is a relation between Roma and Vijay who agree to share profits of the business RV Cakes. The business may be conducted by both Roma and Vijay or only Roma on behalf of Vijay and the firm. Next we move on to the features of partnership. The first feature of partnership is two or more persons. Roma cannot enter into partnership herself. Therefore, there must be two or more people to form a partnership firm. Roma can have maximum 20 partners in her business. But if it is a banking firm, maximum number of partners is 10. RV Cakes a firm cannot become partner of any other firm, let us say Yum Bakery. But Vijay or Roma can join Yum Bakery as partners. The second feature of partnership is agreement. Partnership is an agreement between Roma and Vijay. This agreement could be oral or in writing. The third feature of partnership is lawful business. A partnership can be formed only for the purpose of carrying on legal businesses. Illegal activities like theft etc is not partnership. If Roma and her mother jointly own a house without carrying on a business, it is not partnership. The fourth feature of partnership is sharing of profits. The profits of RV Cakes is shared between Roma and Vijay in an agreed ratio. Here we can see that Roma has 60% share in profits whereas Vijay has only 40% share in profits. Similarly, losses are also shared in an agreed ratio. This ratio is similar to the ratio in which profits are shared. Which means Roma has 60% share in losses and Vijay has 40% share in losses. The fifth feature of partnership is mutual agency. Every partner is an implied agent of the other. Roma and Vijay both are responsible for acts performed by each of them on behalf of the firm which is RV Cakes. The sixth feature of partnership is utmost good faith. Roma and Vijay should have mutual trust and confidence in each other. Roma and Vijay should keep no secrets from each other. The seventh feature of partnership is unlimited liability. Personal assets of Roma and Vijay can be used such as Roma's jewellery and Vijay's bike can be used to take loans from banks. The eighth and the final feature of partnership is restriction on transfer of interest. Vijay can transfer his share in RV Cakes to Seema only if it is approved by Roma, which means it should have Roma's consent. Thank you, my dear students. In the next module, we'll be learning the distinguish between partnership and sole proprietorship firms.